Uh, I call the member for Hawkesbury. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's good to be here. As chair of the Committee of Transport and Infrastructure and chair of its inquiry into electric buses in regional and metropolitan public transport networks in New South Wales, I speak in strong support of the Electric Vehicles Revenue Arrangements Bill 2021. The inquiry I chaired looked into the benefits of electric buses and the barriers to their wider use in city and country public transport fleets. We examined the opportunities and challenges of transitioning the whole metropolitan bus fleet to electric, what energy and infrastructure is needed to power electric bus fleets, and other emissions, natural, uh, neutral energy sources, uh, and the like. Our role was to also consider how to support the manufacture and assembly of electric buses in New South Wales. This inquiry was part of the New South Wales Government's overall strategy to transition towards the electrification of cars and avoid the noise and pollution associated with non-electric cars. Madam Speaker, the um, transition to zero emission vehicles, both public and private, is a significant change that requires a detailed transition plan. The New South Wales Government has set a target of achieving net zero emissions by 2050 and a 35 per cent reduction in emissions by 2030. The New South Wales Net Zero Plan includes the commitment of replacing Sydney's bus fleet with electric buses to help achieve these targets, provide environmental and health benefits and make bus operations more financially sustainable over the long term period. The Electric Vehicles Revenue Arrangements Bill 2021 is an important part of our state's transition to electric vehicles. The objects of this bill are to firstly impose a distance-related road user charge on registered operators of certain zero and low emissions vehicles and exempt certain zero and low emissions vehicles from the payment of stamp duty under the Duties Act 1997, Chapter 9. A portion of government revenue is from fuel excise and if we are transitioning towards electric vehicles then we must have to charge a charge to replenish the petrol excise so that when uh, we may continue to fund the investments of our future that includes maintenance of the very roads that electric vehicles will be travelling on. Our government's electric vehicle strategy will cut taxes, incentivise uptake and reduce barriers for electric vehicle purchases over the next four years. We aim to have electric vehicles account for more than 50 per cent of new cars sold in New South Wales by 2030, and for them to comprise the great majority of cars sold in New South Wales in 2025. 2035. The transition that we are planning for with this current legislation will reinforce new jobs that will be created in the electric vehicle industry. Mr. Speaker, uh, Madam Speaker, the New South Wales Government is committed to enhancing the sustainability, productivity and livability of our community. Mr Speaker, I am glad to be part of a government that is focused on strategies to deal with the transition towards electric vehicles, with this legislation being so important a component. I want to also put on the record that not every consumer will automatically favour electric vehicles over traditional vehicles. And I am known for supporting many Aussie traditions. Call me conservative if you wish, but I am also mindful of the joy of driving that only comes with the grunt of a 351 V8 under the hood of my brother's 1936 and 1937 Ford hot rods. I can't ignore that. The pleasure provided is unmistakable and irreplaceable. So let's respect the joys of the old fashioned driving experience, but move forward and embrace this new electric vehicle transition. The health benefits through lower air pollution when using electric vehicles can't be dismissed. There is much infrastructure that we need to invest in, and I hope we can respect the thrill and joy experience with street rods, Harleys, and who knows, in years to come, Mr Speaker, even electric vehicles, um, we might even uh, know that electric vehicles making up 30 per cent of cars in years to come, they might even have a hybrid hot rod to thrill the green energy enthusiasts. Thank you. 
Well, I thank the member for Hawkesbury. I now call the member for Cessnock, virtually.